Hi, boys and girls. I have been using rainbow fringe to decorate the art room for years. And I love showing students how to make their own rainbow fringe using paper and cutting with the scissors. Let me show you how to start your rainbow fringe project. I will give you a piece of each of these six colors. I'll give you red and orange to start. The orange is a little tricky. There's a way to turn it, but it doesn't fit. So make sure you turn it so it's the same width as the red paper and you see a little bit of red peeking out. The orange does not fit this way when it hangs off the side. So you want to make sure that it's coming right to the edge of the red paper. Then you will make one line of glue, just one line, boys and girls. You don't need a lot of glue for this project. And you'll line up the orange paper to where it matches perfectly the top of the red, leaving no red showing on that side. Press and hold, move it if you need to, and make sure there's a little red showing and you can lift up the orange Next is yellow. Does this fit right here? No, does it fit right here? What about there? Does it go there? No, it goes up here. Again, one line of glue, boys and girls, is all you need. Then you'll stick it to the orange paper and line it up exactly in the corners. Now I can see a little bit of red showing, a little bit of orange showing, and my next color is green. I can lift up the flaps and everything's only stuck at the top. My green is tricky. Move it around until you know exactly where it goes. Does it go there? There, it goes right at the top. One line of glue is all you need. Press and hold. Now I have red showing, orange showing, yellow showing. My green is on top, so my next color is blue. Something to check every time, boys and girls, is to make sure you can lift the flap of each color. My blue is next, one line of glue for my blue. And then I want you to wait for your purple. I have something different I want you to do with your purple before you glue it on. Check to make sure you can lift your blue up and all your flaps are loose. Then you can take your purple and you know it fits up here, but before you glue it down, I want you to do the fringe. That means you're going to cut and you're cutting about halfway up your purple, starting from one side of the paper and cut, cut, cutting all the way, fringing the entire paper to the other side. If you'd like to give it a little crunch at the end, this helps to make it look more 3D. It gives it a little more shape and it takes up more space. So crunch your paper if you'd like, and now you can glue it. We cut the purple paper first because it's awfully hard to fringe after it's glued. One line of glue, stick it to the very top, right into the corners of the blue, and you can crunch that fringe again. And of course, this wouldn't be called rainbow fringe if we didn't have every color fringed. So cut away. You can begin cutting any color you'd like first. Once you've cut, you can crunch them up and make them look more interesting. Make sure your name is on the back and this is your fringe to keep. <laughs>